Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. It's Trina, the frag and bag hag, or the bag and frag hag. If you've been following me, then you've noticed recently that I've changed my channel name a little bit and updated my um, banner for my channel as well, because I'd like to expand my uh, horizons a little bit and delve more into perfume, because to be honest, that's what I've wanted to do all along. I've just been a little bit too intimidated by the idea about talking about perfume. Um, and also there are so many reviewers on perfume uh, in the YouTube space, didn't think I'd have a voice, but you know what? I've come to realize that perhaps I do, and I love perfume and I should be doing what I love in my spare time, which is YouTube, right? Not to say I don't like bags, not giving up on bags, will continue to include bags until I've uh, sort of exhausted that genre, shall we say? But perfume is really for me where it's at and I don't know why I didn't start with that in the first place. I Obviously I was intimidated, but I think I just wanted to test the grounds and see if I could you know, have what it takes to get away with being me on YouTube. And I'm doing okay, so I guess it's time. So if you're someone who's not interested in perfume, then you can shut out and click away right now. Uh, but if you are, and you also like bags, definitely subscribe and stick around for this video. So today I'm gonna share with you, uh, I'm not gonna go through my whole collection, that's just insane. Uh, I do have quite a bit of perfume. Not as much as some people on uh, in the fragrant, fragrance community though, by far very tiny. But I, I can't do it all in the video. But what I would like to do for you today is share with you um, how I store and uh, organize, well, I'm not really organized, but how I keep my perfume. So let's just get on with that. That's me on the left with an old friend in a picture from about 30 years ago. Um, here is where I keep my uh, full bottles that I currently have. This changes up quite fast, quite a bit. Um, in the little container in the back here, I have some samples and some smaller roller ball type concoctions. But these are the ones in full bottle format that I currently have, varying from 30 milliliters all the way to 250. Actually, I think this one is quite big, but there you go. And I have some more goodies on this shelf too. I have a Louis Vuitton bag and a Chanel box where I keep sunglasses and prescription glasses, some flowers and candles there, and some puzzles and a little, a little bug, which I really adore. And of course some perfume. So I've got uh, giant bottles, oops, out of focus. There we go, giant bottles of uh, some of my favorites, a couple of my favorites from uh, Christian Zero. These are massive bottles, but I'm managing to go through them fairly fast nonetheless. And then moving down here, we have some more sample boxes. So this, for example, is an old tin container from Atelier Cologne, and I keep uh, samples in there. And then I have this gorgeous uh, box from Vietnam, which I'll share with you. Actually, I'll open up that up in a bit to show you how the samples fit in there. And another box here. With, this is an old uh, classic from uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier. You open this up and uh, it's a music box, actually. really like this. Um, do I have perfume in here right now? I think I might be storing some papers. But anyway, nice box. And the boxes here, these are. this is just my jewelry. Some Tibetan bells. <laughs> All right, so in this uh, unassuming cupboard here, I have a lot of perfume storage. Not solely perfume storage, but mostly. I have, uh, in the top shelf, I have my vaping gear. Second shelf is puzzles. Third and fourth and fifth shelf, this is where it's at. These are all my perfumes. So the top shelf here, I have some boxed perfume samples, some miniatures. Um, some packaging from uh, Arabian perfume, some full bottles in the back, and the second shelf I have some decants on the right. Actually, they're not decants, they're actually just small bottles of perfume. Some more samples and some more samples. And the bottom, well not the bottom, but the, these two giant cases you see here, these I'll pull them out in a bit, but these are my um, basically my decant zone, mostly 10 uh, mLs bottles that I've dealt with. The bottom is just some camera stuff. But yeah, that keeps in a dark shelf here, and I like it that way. 
So I have a few uh, containers that I use to store my perfume samples in. I'm not the hugest fan of perfume samples. They're usually about two milliliters, and I find that too small a portion to get a real sense of a perfume. But nonetheless, it is a good way to get your nose on things. So I do have a, quite a few. So this is one of the boxes I have, and it's really pretty. It was in the trash bin or the recycle bin at work, and I just picked it up and I asked people if they wanted it, nobody wanted it, so I took it. So it opens up like this, and uh, you just pull out these little, and in the back you can see that there's these holes, and you push on the holes, and then your samples come out. So these are a whole bunch of goodies I've got from um, I like primi primarily Lucky Scent. It's a great place to get samples, especially for niche stuff. And there's one there. There's another one down here. Well, that one's stuck. There you go. Oh, these look, I think, I don't know where these are from. There's just a variety of goodies, really. And we have the third of four drawers. This is another one. Uh, there's some Lucky Scents in here and some bigger ones. So it fits two rows, I guess, maybe two or three rows of samples, depending on the size. And the bottom one, oh, these are some Opus oils in here and some random goodies. Gosh, it smells wonderful. One of the reasons I want to start reviewing perfumes on my channel is so I can finally go through these lovely scents and not feel the need to hang on to them anymore. So review them, share them on my channel, and then just consume them. Yes. So this is another container. Uh, these are from the, the dollar store, the local dollar or the Yakuin store. Great place to put your um, smaller perfumes. And these are all perfumes that um, I got in smaller sizes. So I reviewed these ones briefly on my channel recently from L'Occitane de Paris. And I've got some from L'Artisan Parfumeur here. I have four from um, Atelier Cologne, really like them. My favorite is, uh, what is it? Rose Anonym. I think I've been through four bottles of this now. <laughs> Crazy. And I have a few other random pieces. Oh, that's another one from L'Occitane over here. This one is uh, very special to me. It was given to me by a friend. Mm. Very masculine, but yeah, I love it. So there's that kind of thing I have. And now we have this suitcase sort of thing here. I picked this up at the local hardware store. It's a cute little suitcase size and inside, Jajang, we can see, I have the key here, but this is, these are all my decants. Okay, so these are about, I don't know, I, I got all, all these from Alex, what is it called? Alibaba, AliExpress, um, because I buy them in bulk and they become very cheap that way. And I think they're 10 milliliters, but they might actually be eight. Uh, but it's enough and these if you want to try out a scent, I think this is a good size Commonly you can get smaller decants. You know the ones that they're called. I think Travelo is the brand Let me get it. Let me get one out to show you hold on a minute Okay, sorry. I just pulled this out of my drawer. Um, these are the Travelo ones these little guys here What is this one here? Ombre d'or. Okay, so this one is almost empty, I think, but this is a typical one that was very popular a few years ago. You put the end onto your spray bottle and push it through. It's a mess-free sort of thing, but I find this is kind of too small. I, I don't get enough value out of this. And you can also get at your 100 yen store, you know, you get any of these type of arrangements, very, very tiny, but great for small purses when you're going out and about. And another popular brand, this is another type of smaller one I also got from the 100 yen store. What's that? Mitsuko. And this is something I got from Sephora as another type of decant. This again is uh, too small. Um, what's this one here? Angel Muse. Okay, now how this works is a little weird. You pour the stuff into the top here and it seals. I'm not really impressed with this so much. But I find that these, these ones are the best size and also the best design because look, it's a twist and you pull it out. And you can, you know, I have a system for um, marking everything. I try to put it on the outside, on the inside and uh, it works well for me. So I have, I really don't know how many I have. I have like three or four levels of perfume in here. There's a lot. And this is my primary 
storage device and I only started doing this a few years ago and I didn't do it for all of them but moving forward I think I probably will uh, because perfume is, is an obsession for me, it really is. I'll lock that up. Now you may have seen this bag before on my channel because I reviewed it as a makeup storage device but I upgraded to a larger size and now I use this for, for more perfume decants so these are bigger ones here. It's kind of random. I've got this is Sycamore. This one's leaking a little bit though. Mm, sycamore. Chanel Sycamore. Beautiful. I love that woody scent. Um, these are all um, Cologne et Atelier bottles. I've got four of them here and that is because these are allow you to open them up and use them it's a great size I think it's 25 milliliters so they're great sizes for travel what's this one uh, can't see it this far away Nobile 1942 Ambre Nobile oh god oh, it's so beautiful I'm obsessed okay so there you go this is filling up rapidly and this is how I do this. I have that sticker thing back here in the back pouch. I have these things I got from the dollar store and what they are is, let's open one up for you. So you write your whatever you want to write here and then you pull off the, the inside tab. I don't know if this is working to show you but you pull off this inside tab like that and then you push forward the coating and now you have the sticker that can go on any container right I'll just check it on here and it's got a, a waterproof seal so that's useful when you have liquids right so I like that and I've got obviously tons of them here so it's great moving forward So as you saw from those clips, uh, you can see that I'm really into decanting my perfume. I've been collecting perfume for quite a few years and most of the time, most of that time I haven't kept my perfume, much to my dismay. I wish I had, I'd have much more to talk about this channel without having to repurchase everything. And a lot of the stuff I had and don't have anymore is no longer produced. So that's a bit of a, a sad story, but c'est la vie, right? But the decants are definitely where it's at because then I can can carry the stuff with me if I want to wear it en route and I, it takes up less space. Um, I have all the same decants so they're all organized and they can fit nicely together. I live in a very small apartment. Um, actually it's not that small. By Japanese standards it's actually quite big but in general I move a lot. I don't want to be half having to move you know 50 to potentially 300 bottles around. Um, it's very heavy, it's a very expensive hobby too. I do get a lot of my perfumes secondhand, just like my bags. And I also prefer to get samples or decants because for some of the pricier bottles, I definitely wanna try before I buy. But on the other hand, uh, I have got a lot of huge bottles uh, that I got secondhand for ridiculously fantastic prices and I'm proud of that. So I will be sharing more of my perfume on this channel moving forward and I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you stick around for more and we'll see you in the next video. Bag and Frag Hag signing out. Mwah.